ladies and gentlemen, before I tell you any more, I'm going to show you the greatest thing your eyes have ever beheld. That's right. Another episode teaching you how to sound like a film snob. Today I'm going to teach you how to communicate through film references. Yes, I know what you're thinking. Sometimes reality is too complex for oral communication. Yet that's why you should never give up. Never surrender. For communicating is one of the most powerful things we have. It's not something to be taken lightly. No one knows its secrets. It's even more powerful for film buffs, for it's a beacon, grail shaped even, to all the other film buffs in the area. Don't believe me? Check this out. And that's my problem, man. You know, I don't have to tell you things are bad. You know things are bad. It's a depression. Everyone's out of it at work or scared they're gonna lose their job. The dollar buys a nickel's worth. Banks are going bust. Shopkeepers keep a gun under the counters. Punks are running wild in the streets. And, and there's, there's nobody, nobody anywhere, anywhere who seems, seems to know, know what to, to do. do. And, and there's, there's no, no end, end to it. it. You see that? Don't you want to be able to do that? Of course you do. Now, I have often preached in this show the importance of foreign films, how they are essential to be a film snob. Yet, I'm just warning you if you try to reference them in everyday conversation. What? There's another danger in referencing films. You have to have seen the film you're referencing. There's a lot of quotes that people throw out there without knowing where they're from. Don't go into the light. There's one of them, but there are many others. I'm nervous. You ready for this? A little buckle your seatbelt. It's gonna be a buggy night. Oh my god, you've seen All About Eve too? It's such a great movie. Betty Davis was fantastic. When did you see it? Um, <laughs> like, I saw it at the show place this past weekend. Really? Um, I didn't know that they played a 50 year old movie at the show place. She failed before she even stepped inside the lab. Madness. Madness. Well, la di da, la di da. I think you learned a lot today. Just remember, if you do this right, people will see you as the film snob you possibly are. Until next time, here's looking at you, Katie.